Let's start. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Today is also the feast of the dedication of the Basilica of St. Mary Major. Uh, that is one of the four major basilicas of the world. And it's in Rome when uh, the Council of Ephesus said that Mary is the bearer of Christ. In dedication of that doctrine, they built that. And uh, as we come to the readings, Jesus says, we can bear God. We can make God come into us even forcefully if we have the faith. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord, yes. Christ have mercy. Yes. Lord have mercy. Yes. Let us pray. Pardon the faults of your servants, we pray, O Lord that we who cannot please you by our own deeds may be saved through the intercession of the mother of your son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the tribes of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people that escaped the sword have found favor in the desert. As Israel comes forward to be given his rest, the Lord appears to him from afar. With age-old love, I have loved you. So I have kept my mercy toward you. Again, I will restore you, and you shall be rebuilt, O virgin Israel. Carrying your festive tambourines, you shall go forth dancing with merrymakers. Again, you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. Those who plant them shall enjoy the fruits. Yes, a day will come when the watchmen will call out on Mount Ephraim. Rise up, let us go to Zion, to the Lord our God. For thus says the Lord, Shout with joy for Jacob, exult at the head of the nations. Proclaim your praise and say, the Lord has delivered his people, the remnants of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guide us as the shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guide us as the shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nation. Proclaim it on distant isles, and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The Lord will guide us as 
Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as the shepherd of the Lord's flock. Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I will send one lead to the last sheep of the house of Israel. <clears throat> but the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It's not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to them in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. I exactly forgot the number of the psalm, but in the psalm, next time when I see it, I will tell you. Uh, where, in, um, when I first read that word, uh, and it, it really struck me very deep, it says that God repented, repented. You and I can repent because we can go wrong. And so we said right, and we, uh, detour and, and come, and make a U-turn of our life, so we repent. The repent itself means to rethink. Um, and, but God is a perfect planner, the all-powerful, good wisdom, repents, right? Um, and that is very much explaining what's going on in the task of today. And even before going that way, I would like to remind you what is that repentance means in the story in Genesis uh, from 16th to 19th. If you get the whole story well, you will see that story that God has planned and set right everything to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. That's the plan of God. But Abraham comes before God. And that's when God repents. God repents. Uh, God, I know you are a God of mercy. And if there were 50 people, would you destroy? God said, no. Okay, 45. No. It's okay, only if I find 40. No. 30. No. 20. No, I would not destroy. At least, Lord, give me, allow me to say the last time. Abraham bar, uh, um, argues or bargains with God. Let me say the last time, only ten people are found, ten just people are found. Will you destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? No. From 50 just men or just people to 50, 45, 40, 30, 20, five times God is ready to change his mind. That's the repentance. 
The just God can never, can never change everything to rule. The merciful God, he changes multiple times. That's the story of uh, um, the prodigal son also. And today, what changes the mind of God? That's what the gospel today, right? God came with the rule, I came just only for the last people of Israel. The last sheep of Israel. That's the rule, that's the framework, and that's the, um, the rule of the game I play. And so you, Canaanite woman, I am in a foreign territory. I'm not in Israel, Tyre and Sina, right? And I cannot heal. He doesn't even pay attention to because she was crying and coming, heal my daughter, right? And the disciples also say, she is coming. They say she, but she, he doesn't even address her as a woman or as a person. He simply says, I came, that's my room. I came only for the last people of Israel or the last sheep of Israel. And that's where I can work and I have nothing else. Maybe you have to say, when Mary and Joseph went to seek Jesus, he said, why did you seek? This is the room. I have to be here, I have to be lost, you have to come and find. When Mary asked to change the water into wine, uh, then they said, she says, this is the rule of the game, I cannot know, my time has not come. He was there. But what made changes? What made, uh, how did he wind up? The woman addresses to him as a person. When God is approached as a person who can be related, who can be experienced, who you want to allow as a God of a person, who you allow that God to be experienced, and you become the act of God, not simply you, then God breaks all kinds of rules. Then God comes to us. And that's why, when he did not even address her as a person, I came for the last Israel, I have to feed only my people, I cannot feed any other life, not even the dogs I cannot feed. But she approaches him, not in the preference of the, uh, the parlance of rules, but he says, but Lord, that which falls from the master's table, even the dogs eat, feed themselves, then that kind of personal relationship, that kind of addressing you directly, I want to be related to you. You can have your own rules, who cares? Oh woman, now she becomes a woman for you. Oh woman, so far nobody. Oh woman, your faith is great. The faith, what is that faith? The faith is a perfect relationship in which you are no different from God and God is no different from you. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me, Paul. St. Paul says that. You become the act of God. When Mary said, how can I do this? I do not know a woman. I said, I do not know a man, and how can I bear the child? And he said, we will take care of that, but will you allow me to work in you? We will take care of that. How you will be conceived? The Holy Spirit will come and all such things. But will you be agreeing that I can then work with you? Yes. Then everything is solved. That kind of personal relationship. What is spirituality? Spirituality is not a rule. Spirituality is not ideology. Spirituality is not kind of philosophy. Philosophy, spirituality is not even a method or strategy. It is purely, purely a relationship. And if that is there, if that is the basis, even God will repent. God will change and God is changing. But we are in a science developed or science based or technology based uh, communities and even all our relations are all defined. Social relationship, communal relationship, business relationship, 
And even now the family relationship, you cannot touch your child. The child can report and your child can be removed from you. Right? The law is so determining all kinds of relationship. And spiritual relationship is beyond that. Where in that you have no person and God is no person, there is only a great love. And in that love, there is no division, there is no ego, there is only one kind of bigger creative force which is called love, in which he addresses really your faith is great and your daughter is free to go. And so just think about it, God repents and how much we have to repent. Now let us pray. That God may open our hearts and fill us with faith, the power of love. Let us bring all that we need. For all the priests and religious, may the Lord continue to bless them in their vocations. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord be in our prayer. For state and federal leaders, may the grace of the Holy Spirit empower them in their efforts protecting all life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayer. For those who experience doubt that God hears their prayers, may the peace of Christ console them and strengthen their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayer. For this faith community, may the Holy Spirit empower us to bear good fruit for the glory of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayer. For the faithful departed, particularly those who have known us, pray for them. May they be welcomed into the heavenly Jerusalem. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayer. And for May Divine, for whom this celebration of the Mass offered today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayer. And for all our special intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayer. And let us pray through the Blessed Mother, Hail Mary, the Lord of grace, and all that is in thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for three of witness we have received this bread we offer. The fruit of the earth and bread of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for three weeks we have received this wine we offer. The fruit of the wine and bread of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Bless you, Lord. Let's pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering for you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For truly, even to the earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. 
when you looked upon the lowliness of your handmaid, Mary, you gave us through her the author of salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. May our voices, we pray, join with saints and angels in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread giving you thanks, broke the bread, gave to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more to give you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you would have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. The Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the Fullness of charity, together with Francis R. Pope, John R. Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, our Mother. Blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed Apostle, St. Thomas, Lord, our patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray as Jesus does, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass. Blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the universe, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I leave you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in the gardens of your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. Let us share the peace of Christ. Peace to you all. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, hammer to the house. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, hammer to the house. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, word, my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ, keep us safe for eternal life. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now go in the peace of Let's end with the Mary and King. Immaculate Mary, your praises be sing. You reign now in heaven with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. Have a nice day.